Lesson 133. Mesa. Escritorio. Okay, Antonio, a uh, question for you. The word for desk here is escritorio, right? Mm -hmm. Is that related somehow to the word for uh, writing or the verb that means to write? Yeah, to write in Spanish is escribir. So the word escritorio is somehow the, uh, related to to write, which is escribir. Because a desk is a flat surface that you use for writing on, right? Mm -hmm. So maybe that'll help our listeners remember that word. Yeah. Somehow related to the word scribe. Yeah, same, same root. Okay, let's look at our exercises here. In number one, el periodico means the newspaper. De mi padre literally means of my father. Esta is the verb, that's third person singular, and it goes with el periodico. In el escritorio, we'll say on the desk. So number one, we'll say the newspaper of my father is on the desk. But a better, smoother translation will be my father's newspaper is on the desk. In number two, los gatos están will say the cats are. And in la mesa will say on the table. So number two says the cats are on the table. In number three, la comida no está will say the food is not. In la mesa will say on the table. Pero means but. And nosotros queremos means we want. Cenar is an infinitive that means to have dinner. So number three will say, the food is not on the table, but we want to have dinner. In number four, tus amigos están will say, your friends are. In la playa will say, at the beach. Pero means but. Tu estás means you are. And in la biblioteca means at the library. So number four will say, your friends are at the beach, but you are at the library. In number five, mi familia está says, my family is. In el parque says, at the park, and ahora means now. So number five will say, my family is at the park now. In number six, nosotros estamos means, we are. In un restaurante means, at a restaurant but I suppose it could also say in a restaurant, depending on the context. Porque means because, queremos means we want, and almorzar means to have lunch. So number six will say, we are at a restaurant because we want to have lunch. In number seven, we have a question, and the question involves formal speech. Together, the words usted and tiene would say, you have, but here they're reversed because it's a question. So we'll translate them as, do you have? Un perro means a dog. So, do you have a dog? And number eight, no means no. Perro means but. Yo tengo means I have. And unos gatos is some cats. So number eight will say, no, but I have some cats. In number nine, we are using the word ustedes to address multiple people. Ustedes son will say, y'all are, and mis amigos means my friends, so y'all are my friends. In number 10, el es means he is, and mi padre means my father, so he is my father.